talked about this, the place of public art in the city, and now we're standing among it. This community is incredibly special to me and to so many in our city and represents such a beacon of inclusion and history. People finding their way to this country and to the city and to build lives that are so intertwined with the history of Boston. So to have the chance to walk in the community with our residents and community leaders and friends from all over to understand how we can see that reflected and represented in art is, is very special. Well, I want to say thank you to Mayor Wolf for bringing us together. What this community is about is sharing and telling stories and bringing out the best in people, but bringing out the best in our immigrant neighbors. Chinatown and the AAPI community have a strong history of service to our city and country, whether it's building the Transcontinental Railroad or public art, but we want to celebrate those contributions the Chinese community here has made, whether it's the veterans community, whether it's the labor community, or the artist community, we want to bring them together in public art is a critical part of that. Again, I want to say thank you to the Chinatown community. I want to say thank you to Mayor Wu and her team for bringing us together and for the great respect that they show for this community and our immigrant neighbors as well. I want to thank everyone for being here. My name is Cynthia Wu, I'm the Director of Power Art Center. Um, part of what we do is really make sure we can connect people through public activity, cultural activity, creative activity, and it's so thrilling to see everyone out here today and we will have a chance for artists and organizations out here today to really show how Chinatown has been resilient over the last few years and been one of the most dynamic neighborhoods in Boston using creativity and culture to uplift the stories of our community members and helping people find a place to belong. So thank you. Really. It's absolutely a pleasure that the mayor and her staff have put together this walk to view public art throughout the city of Boston, but especially here in the Chinatown community, where we're starting here with the food, dogs, and we're gonna see the China Gates and continue through to the end. Hopefully everyone will stay with us for this walk to see Global Positioning, which is on the J.C. Deco bus shelters throughout the city in 11 neighborhoods. So we're very excited about that as well. Thank you. I think in this moment, when we have experienced so much anti-Asian hate, it's particularly important for us to lift up the almost 200-year history of Chinese Americans as important co-founders and as an integral part of American society. And I think that having Chinatown and recognizing it as a historic and cultural district is one way that we can do that. So we're so thrilled that Mayor Wu is here to celebrate our artists and the vibrant culture that is Chinatown. And this is one of the artists. <laughs> yes, uh, my name is Wen Ti Chan, and I have uh, a vision of actually creating four uh, working Chinese uh, workers, bronze statues of Chinese workers in life size, but situated around Chinatown, so that we have a real material equity for the monuments of the city, uh, which we have been talking about it for many several years, but we haven't done real things. We do festivals, you know, uh, which I may call it a fly and kite festivals, but we don't have any real thing that is long lasting, that will be endured, that represent the people and the work that they have done to create the society. Thank you, and the community too. And then I'll just in our chief of arts and culture. Ortega, a Chief of Arts and Culture. So excited to be here to celebrate all of the public art and creating a sense of place here in Chinatown, really led by local artists and by local residents to tell the story of who is here and really celebrate that history, um, but also the future. And we're just excited to be able to partner and help support all of these projects that are coming from the local community and make sure that this really creates a sense of place and vibrancy for everyone who lives here and visits here to be able to appreciate that that local history of Chinatown here in Boston.
Good afternoon. I'm Nicholas Bohm, Director of Public Art Fund, and it's a thrill to be back in Boston uh, to represent Public Art Fund here and as the guest uh, of Boston to bring the exhibition Global Position, which is presenting new work by 20 young artists from 17 countries around the world. On bus shelters, the space that would normally be used for advertising, but which, with the partnership with JC Deco, is turned over to artists. And this is an extraordinary initiative because it really allows public art to go into communities. It's a distributed exhibition, it's on bus shelters all over the city, and so it's a wonderful way of really democratizing the access to great public art while also thinking about what can we learn from artists all over the world, uh, and so it's it's just a thrill to be here. To be here. Hi, on behalf of the Chinatown Business Association, um, we'd like to you know plan to celebrate our culture, and so many businesses have been affected, you know, before the pandemic, during the pandemic, and we plan to have a series of events this summer celebrating our culture, bringing artists and performers to the gate and other venues, and we just hope that this, this can help boost the, cultural, the rich cultural heritage of our community and celebrate, and also bring back businesses to our community. Thank you.